on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, okay, you could. Your RC will agree, just pick whatever you want and then you help and pay for it, everything. Uh, um. Uh. Are you sure? Yes, I'm quite positive, yes. As yes, there are carts of carts of food and other things just being brought to this one table. Everyone's looking and like, are those two going to be able to eat all of that? Them not knowing, it's just going to be Oraka. She eats everything. Oh, well, Izuku, he just has a cup of tea, and that's it. Better? Yes, I... I'm very sorry for what I did. Why you said no, no, I, I understand why you said it. It's just... You didn't have to say it like that. Right. Either way, um... Everything I said it came from a place of anger, and I really do care a lot about my parents. And it's just your dad. Trust me, I know. I, uh, he, I don't know why he just overdoes it. Huh? How about this? Let me see. Uh, Ah! What's that? Coal. Why? Just, just watch. As three minutes go by, Izuku just shows, like, what's that? A present. As he's flashing this diamond in her face, all the pages are looking away. Is he proposing? Both of them blushing. He's just like, no, no, it's just a gift. He's like, the women are looking at their dates or boyfriends or whatever. Like, I wish he got me presents like that shit. All the guys just glaring daggers. At he's like, motherfucker, you just you're making this look bad. Get the fuck out. Bitch, make me. Is yes, it becomes this whole argument of Izuku being surrounded. It's like, all right, <clears throat> I guess I got no choice. Him starting to actually show his true height, his true build. Because, yes, this whole time he's been, he's altered himself just enough so he won't be recognized. He's still surprised that Oraka really recognized him at all. Must be the blue skin. So, yes. Everyone's looking like, way. you look familiar. Like, yeah. You can go now. Them just grabbing their dates by their hands and leaving. I am very sorry for her. The nuisance that I've no, no, no. It's, it's good. Do you have any idea how much that's gonna? Oh, d don't worry. He just takes out another lump of coal. And... How's that? That about cover it. <laughs> Thank you. Just le leaving like. Yeah. <sighs> well, what else you want to do? Uh huh. You you just made you just. But how? Mm, I can't say it's earth magic. People around here don't use it. Um, it's just part of my dad's side of his quirk. 
So, yeah. <laughs> really? Yep. So your dad can actually make gemstones? That... Well, he... It's something I learned that he hasn't taught me, so he probably doesn't know about it. If he does, he sure as heck didn't want me to know. Or didn't care enough to really teach me or something like, oh, wait, yeah, if I, if I think I just don't do it too often. Okay. Can you do it again? Oh, yes. You're just making another diamond, but then he just starts molding it. It's like, how are you? My cork, just, just, everything I do that's weird or amazing, just say, just say it's part of my quirk or just natural ability. As yes, he shapes it into a rose. Ah. Uh. I that's very pretty as he just places it around her ear. Perfect. Come on. What else do you want to do? Uh, uh I uh, uh um what? Is it, no no no, 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 no. You, you, what's going on here? You, you are being too nice for someone who... Yeah. I... Yeah. I know you said you were sorry, but you technically didn't do anything to be sorry for, but I... <sighs> Come on. I'm treating you today, so why not? Uh, okay, fine. But this is this is weird. I'm, I'll never be able to pay you back. Uh, pay me back? I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. I don't expect you to pay me back. Heck, that gem I gave you, you can do whatever you want with it. Same with the rose. You don't have to keep them, or <laughs> you could just sell them or do whatever. They're yours. R really? Yeah. Heck, I don't mind. Uh. Wow, you are too nice. And eh, not really. I'm. I was just raised to be a nice person. Yeah, that might be part of the issue. You are way too nice. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. What do you want to do next? Are you sure? <sighs> yes. Well, here we go. Um... I I don't know where I want to go. Hmm. In that case, where are some places that you always wanted to go to or see or visit, but never really had a chance to? The amount of things they do, pretty much is like, okay, we don't have enough time in the day. We could pick this up uh, tomorrow. Does that sound, uh, does that sound good? Uh, sure. As Izuku goes home, or Raka goes home, and she is giddy while Izuku is like, Ugh. Man. I didn't think I would make such a interesting woman. I think we're going to be great friends. <sighs> Morning, Mom. Dad. Um. Hello, son. 
uh, let's uh, take a seat. Take a seat, please. What is it? Why? Well, why are you looking like that, Mom? Um, things are things. Uh, something's happened. What is Diane or so? No, no, nothing like that. It's just um. A lot, uh, something, something, there's been a turn of events in which we had to make some choices, my boy. Huh? Can we talk about this later? I got something to do today. So, sorry, but you're going to have to cancel your plans, my boy. That's, I'm sorry. Explain. We're entertaining guests, and you need me to be here. Okay, what's the catch? That you don't need me to help entertain. You can use one of your goals for that. What's the deal here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Fine. Let me just. As then he gets a text message from Oraka, which is like, oh, she's putting that new phone to use. Won't be able to make it. Something came up. Damn. May her parents need her help with something. Okay, fine. Really? It's like, yeah, uh, I did make plans, but they canceled. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, it's it's nothing. We could try again tomorrow. <sighs> okay, so what's this all about? Okay, let's let's just get ready. You can have your goals. <laughs> Work on the kitchen and whatnot. I'll have my you know, work around the living room. Mom, um, mom, mom what's you, what you gonna do? It's like pretty much get started cooking because we are expecting a lot of visitors. How many? Enough. Okay. Upon later in the evening, the guests start to show up. Izuku, he's still doing the finishing touches and whatnot. Okay, let's get this over with. Oh, I hate wearing a suit and tie. It feels so constricting. Tell me about it. Like, I wish I could shrink down like you, your mother. Ugh. You know how much the suit costs. Uh, where comes the money? You do not have to worry about that. No, we don't. No, no, I don't work. That's your, that's your money. And mom does have her little side businesses, so I guess, yeah, that's y'all money. Y'all the ones that are rich, not me. But you, you can still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because my parents are rich doesn't mean I am. Just because you buy me shit doesn't mean it's my money I'm spending. True. Wow, you are very responsible. Uh, I had good parents. Hmm. Yes, I guess we we did do well with you, did we? Yeah. Well, let's greet our guests. And Izuku, upon seeing everyone, is like, yeah, they're dressed to the nines. Like, yeah, this is the place to be. The only thing is, it's huh. There are 
Wait, why are there so many girls around my age here? Him looking up at his dad's like, he was just looking away, just looking over to the sky. No, those, those chandeliers are very nice. Looking back at Inko. There's, you know what, this, this, uh, this hardwood floor is very, um, uh, woody. Yo, no. No, you didn't. What? Y'all sold my ass, didn't you? No, no, no. Of course not. You're whoring me out. No, definitely not. Y'all trying to marry me off. No. Y'all hesitated there. No, no. Y'all trying, y'all trying to do some bullshittery. I know it. Language. No. No, y'all trying to get me hitched to somebody. Why? It wasn't our choice. Too many people started showing up, giving letters, showing off their daughters and whatnot. I. I is there anything who gets another text? Huh? Uh. Wait, what? Who is it? It's my friend. It's like, he's trying to say, he's like, uh, well, this is awkward. Wait, what? what's she talking about? Him turning around just to give me a little, like, wait, don't tell me, as yes, Araka's there. Only thing is, she, her, outfit is not as luxurious as some of the other Suitors or the or suit ease or whatever the hell they're called it yeah, from a women's perspective. I don't, I don't I don't give a damn. Yeah, them pretty much like okay. So this is why you canceled on me. It it was a last minute thing. Did you, did you know about this? Everyone looking and seeing that way. Why is he talking to her? As then, yes, Oraka's parents show up in not the best attire. Them, they, wait, you know our daughter? Yeah, so we we met uh, yesterday and. We uh, became good friends. Oh, j j just friends? I, oh, uh, everyone just be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's it. that's good to know. Like, yeah, they're just friends. There's no way he would actually, like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just uh, you. Excuse me, what you say? Oh, just say you you would never want, want to be with someone with such lack of taste. Okay, that's enough. Hmm? But you, is something wrong? Did we say something wrong? You damn right you did. Y'all have no right to judge anybody. Who who knows what y'all look like without that makeup y'all got caked all around your faces? Who knows how much work y'all have had done with the noses, the ears, God knows how much you, changes and alterations you made. But look at, but look at this family. Look at them. They, that's all natural. I can tell. So, wait. Wait, where were you looking? Oraka being embarrassed and covering, he's like, that's not what I meant, woman. Just let me finish talking, please. Don't make this anything that's not. As he just keeps on berating everyone who starts talking shit, but then Endeavor shows up. Oh, yes, I'm doing shit. <laughs> He's like, okay, so you would prefer her to anybody else? 
For one, I know this girl. I don't know you guys. Don't get me wrong, Endeavor, you're a good hero. But to be honest, I don't know anything about your family situation. Like, who did you bring over here? Uh, I brought my daughter. Okay. Upon seeing... I'm not telling you until the next part. That's right. I'm being an asshole once again. Because I'm a sadist. I just don't go too far. Yet.